Hey guys, welcome to number 15 of my Inktober series. Pretty much halfway through, I'm so happy. Today I'm working on Centaurus, which is obviously the Centaur constellation. I'm happy to say this piece came pretty naturally to me. I didn't have any issues with it and it was just a really fun piece for me to make. It's probably because I used to draw horses constantly. It was the only thing I really drew. It was definitely a horse girl in elementary school. I'm sure anybody from elementary school looks at me and goes, oh, you mean that horse girl? Horses are still one of the only things that I can draw no problem without reference. Never had my own horse. That's all I wanted as a kid, um, but I did take lessons and got pretty far along. It was actually my, my goal to be an Olympic horsewoman, but living in California, it was much too expensive to have um, my own horse. So I just took lessons on, you know, lesson horses and rode my cousin's horses until it just became too expensive. I really hope I can ride again someday. I miss it a lot, but I'm glad I stuck with art instead because that's definitely um, the better passion in my life. I know I mostly draw women now, but ironically, I used to draw only animals and then in middle school only men so who knows maybe i'll switch it up again in the future <laughs> to be honest part of the reason i slowed down on drawing animals was because i had an animal drawing class in art school and um it was the class i looked forward to the most because i loved animal drawing so much but even though i did everything in my opinion pretty well and had a passion for it I even showed up to all the field trips when none of the other classmates did. The instructor gave me a worse grade than some of the other people who didn't even really try hard. It was very strange. I even asked him after, like, what happened here? He said, oh, just, just weren't good enough. I won't get too much into that or mention names or anything like that. And usually, you know, I understand where a teacher is coming from, but in this case, I just didn't understand it at all. I'm a real perfectionist and kind of had the mindset that, that if I wanted art to be my career, I had to get the best grades possible in art or else I wouldn't make it as an artist. Not because of the grade or because of the degree, but I wanted to put out a quality work because in the real world, you have to put your best work and your best effort forward to make it as an artist. Of course, if you struggle with something in college, there's nothing wrong with not getting the best grades while you're learning. but. I don't know, it bothered me a lot, especially when this was my favorite subject. So I didn't draw animals or horses again for a while, which I know is silly. And it wasn't like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do this anymore. One person didn't like how I draw animals, so now I can't do it anymore. No, no, no. It just was kind of an experience that made me have a bad taste in my mouth when I draw animals, so I took a break for a while. And now I'm coming back to it because I don't care what people think about how I draw animals. If I like it and it makes me happy, I'm gonna do it. So back to this piece. Like I said, really didn't have any issue with this composition. It just kind of came out naturally. And I did a little mock-up again on my iPad, trying to get the values of the composition. So figuring out what would be light and what would be dark. And I haven't done that too much for these pieces, so I feel like it really, really helped map it out without having to struggle on the final piece. I wanted her to be a sassy centaur with a bit of a dappled butt. The salt and wet into wet techniques really help give that dappling effect. I'd like to do a few more dappled pieces that are really, really heavily dappled, but I didn't want to go too far on this piece. And if you're new here, I have filmed all of my Inktober pieces so far and talk about the supplies I use and the techniques I use in previous videos. So check that out if you're interested. And definitely check out that Life Ink 18 tag, especially on Instagram, because there's over 2000 tags now and I'm so proud of everyone who's following along in this prompt list. So many of you are on track and much farther ahead than I am. So good job, round of applause for you. It's not easy to keep up with Inktober, and I think especially right around now is when people are either behind or have given up completely. I've definitely noticed the hype of Inktober has dropped dramatically, which is kind of sad, but I understand. It's, it's tough to keep up and people have lives they need to get back to. But to those of you keeping on track, you are awesome. 
keep going. Even if you're behind or have just done a few, you're awesome as well for even trying. I've accepted the fact that I'm behind and I'm just going to be calling them uh, number 15 instead of day 15, etc. because uh, it's definitely not day 15. <laughs> But I'm absolutely finishing all of them, and the Kickstarter book will include all of these pieces, all 31. I'm still trying to get that together, so I may get a little more behind on the pieces just so I can launch the Kickstarter as soon as possible and make some mock-ups of the rewards so you see what you're going to be getting. I'm ridiculously excited about all that. Once it is launched, I will be making tons and tons and tons of announcements, and I will link it to each one of my videos below, even the past ones. I had a lot of fun making her big ponytail ombre effect in this piece. I played with a lot of push and pull, what would be light and what would be dark, so different parts of the piece would stand out. Like her light top half against the dark background really stands out. And then I brought out that gold again because I thought it would be very majestic of her to be wearing almost like a gold breastplate that horses wear, or I should say that people dress their horses in. But I really took the gold quite far on this piece. She has a lot of gold embellishments, so I will most likely definitely be choosing this piece as one of the gold embellished prints. I still can't find my fine tech or colero palette, my gold palette that I love so much. I even had a dream about it last night. I was so sad that it's gone that I had a dream and so happy in that dream that I found it. So I'm really sad to wake up and still not know where it is. But I'm using the Kuretake gem palette and it has a little gold palette in there as well. Which is okay. It's 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 good. It's just it's just not fine tech. I keep going back and forth between Fine Tech and Colero, but they are the same brand. They just rebranded themselves. So their new name is Colero. I think that's how you pronounce it. Off camera, I kind of went into the background and darkened some parts up a bit put some depth in. So again, those light parts of her horse body stand out. I put some stars in the black part of her ponytail and her horse tail. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed this piece. It came very natural to me, which is always nice when art pieces go your way and you don't have to overthink things and fix things too much like my last pieces were. And here's the finished piece. I hope you all like it as well. Thank you so, so, so much for following along in this series. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and follow along on my social media below to keep up on announcements for this Kickstarter. If you're doing Inktober, best of luck on the rest of the month. And I will see you all tomorrow for Libra. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely day.